Okay, so in this video, we will look at functions and the idea of a substitution in the argument of the function. So let's start very simply. We'll take a linear function, so we'll say f of x is equal to 6x minus 5. The idea is, because x is a variable, it can be replaced by any other variable, or even a real number, right? So we could say, well, if f of x is 6 times x minus 5, well, f of 4 would be, and now we are changing the argument, right? We are making a substitution. We are replacing the argument x in the expression by the value 4. So we replace everywhere x by 4. And so we get 6 times 4 minus 5, which gives us 24, minus 5, which gives us 19. And that's f of 4. We could calculate f of, say, negative 2. Same thing. Now we are replacing x by the value negative 2. So we'll get 6 times negative 2, negative 5, which gives us negative 12 negative 5, which gives us negative 17. But we can also replace x by not only real numbers, but by other variables. So for example, we could replace x by, say, 2x plus 1. So now, we are making a more interesting substitution. right? If you go back, f of x equals 6 times x minus 5. But now we are replacing x by the new variable 2x plus 1. So let's replace everywhere in the expression where there's an x by the new argument 2x plus 1. So we get 6 times no longer x but 2x plus 1. Be careful to have parentheses here as all of the argument which is now 2x plus 1 is being multiplied by 6. There is no x with the 5, and that's just negative 5. And now we can simplify. Multiply out, we'll get 12x plus 6 minus 5, which gives us 12x plus 1. We could replace x by, say, a quadratic polynomial. x squared minus 6x plus 4. Once again, we are replacing x everywhere in the expression by the new argument, which is x squared minus 6x plus 4. So we get 6 times the new argument, x squared minus 6x plus 4, minus 5. There's no x, so it stays negative 5. We could multiply out 6x squared minus 36x plus 6 times 4, 24, minus 5, positive 19. Let's make one more substitution. We could replace the argument x by, say, a rational function. What about x minus 1 over 2x plus 3? So, everywhere we place the old argument that was x by the new argument, which is this rational function. So 6 times the new argument minus 5. We could combine as a single fraction. So 6x minus 6 over 2x plus 3 minus... And to have a common denominator, we'll multiply top and bottom by 2x plus 3. So what will that give us? 6x minus 6 over 2x plus 3 minus, we can multiply now the numerator by 5, which will give us 10x plus 15 over 2x plus 3 
and be careful the negative is applied to the entire numerator and now as both fractions are under a common denominator we can combine so we'll get 6x minus 10x which is negative 4x negative 6 negative 15 negative 21 over 2x plus 3 so there you go so the idea is if you're given a function because x is a variable you can replace the argument x by anything you want, either by a real value or by any other given variable. We could also replace x by not only one, but several other variables. Let's just go with one other example. Suppose we replace x by a sum of two variables, say x plus h. So here x is a variable, h is a different variable. And now again we replace 6 times, no longer x, because we have replaced x by x plus h. So 6 times x plus h minus 5 stays negative 5. And so we get 6x plus 6h minus 5. And that's it. Let's do a few more examples now with a different function. This was rather a simple function. 6x minus 5 was a linear function. Let's use, say, a quadratic function. And then we'll use a rational function. So what if we take f of x to be 5x squared minus 2x plus 3. We could take f of negative 1, which would be 5, and now we are replacing x everywhere by negative 1. So 5 times negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus 3, which gives us 5 plus 2 plus 3, which gives us 10. Well, let's replace now x by a linear polynomial. So say f of x will now take f of minus 3x plus 4. So we are replacing everywhere in the expression the old argument that was x by the new argument, which is th negative 3x plus 4. So we get 5 times no longer x but negative 3x plus 4 squared minus 2 times no longer x but negative 3x plus 4 plus 3 there's no x so it stays plus 3 and now we can simplify we could square this and then regroup similar powers of x so we'll have 5 times if you square this you'll get 9x squared minus 24x plus 16. Multiply this one out. Positive 6x minus 8 plus 3. And now we can multiply through by 5 and then regroup at the same time. There's a single quadratic term, 9x squared, times 5 is 45x squared. 5 times 24 well, 5 times 20 is 100, 5 times 4 is 20, so it's 120, but it's negative 120, plus 6x. This will give us negative 114x. And the constant terms, well, 5 times 16 is 80, minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5, this will give us positive 75. And there you have it. If f of x is 5x squared minus 2x plus 3, replacing x in the expression by negative 3x plus 4 gives us that f of negative 3x plus 4 is 45x squared minus 114x plus 75.
Let's do one more example, now where the function is a rational function. Suppose we take f of x to be 2x minus 1 over 3 minus x. So we could evaluate f at, say, a real number. We could take f of 1 half. So now we are replacing in the expression the variable x by the real value of 1 half. So everywhere where there is an x, we have to replace it by 1 half. So we have 2 times 1 half minus 1 over 3 minus 1 half. But if you look on the numerator, 2 times 1 half is 1, minus 1 is 0, over 3 minus 1 half. Well, 3 is 6 over 2, minus 1 half 5 over 2. But 0 over a constant is simply 0. And so we get that f of 1 half is 0. Let's look at, say, f of 3 quarters. This may be a bit more interesting. Now replacing x everywhere in the argument by 3 quarters. So we get 2 times 3 quarters minus 1 over 3 minus no longer x, but three quarters. Well, let's see. Two over four is one half. Three half minus one is one half divided by, well, three, if we put this over four, it will be 12 over four. So we have one half divided by 12 minus three, nine, so nine quarters. Well, we are dividing one half by nine quarters. If we divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So four over nine. But four over two is two, and so we are left with two over nine. And so f of three quarters is two over nine. Let's do two more substitutions. Let's look at f of, say, five x minus 8. Now replacing x everywhere in the expression by 5x minus 8. So we get 2 times 5x minus 8 minus 1 over 3 minus, and here be careful to open your parentheses, because all of x is being negated, and so you have to negate all of the new variable, which is 5x minus 8. We can simplify a little bit. Multiply across by 2 and subtract the 1. 2 times 5x, 10x. Minus 16 minus 1, minus 17. Over negative 5x. But negative negative 8 is plus 8. Plus 3 is 11. Minus 5x. There you have it. Now, let's do one last substitution. Let's replace an irrational function of x x by another rational function, and then we'll simplify. So suppose we evaluate f of, say, 4x plus 3 over x plus 1. So now we are replacing, we are replacing, sorry, everywhere in the expression, x by 4x plus 3 over x plus 1. So we get 2 times this fraction. Minus 1 over 3 minus the entire fraction. Of course, now this looks rather silly. Let's simplify as a single fraction. Let's multiply our numerator by 2, which will give us 8x plus 6 over x plus 1. 1, of course, is x plus 1 over x plus 1. 
over, well, to simplify we need this to be an over x plus 1, so multiply top and bottom by x plus 1. And if you multiply out, you'll have 3x plus 3 over x plus 1 minus the fraction 4x plus 3 over x plus 1. Let's perform the two subtractions. So 8x minus x, 7x. 6 minus 1 plus 5 over x plus 1. This is our numerator. All over 3x minus 4x, so negative x. 3 minus 3, 0. So we get negative x over x plus 1. And as before, in the case of 1 half over 9 quarters, if we divide by a fraction, we multiply by its reciprocal. So let's do the same thing here. Our numerator is 7x plus 5 over x plus 1. Instead of dividing by this fraction, we will multiply by the reciprocal. Therefore, x plus 1 over negative x. Common multiple of x plus 1 on top and bottom, we can cancel. And so we are left with 7x plus 5 over negative x. This looks kind of silly, so we'll move the negative as a constant multiple. So negative of 7x plus 5 over x. If we wanted, we could divide through, and be careful here that the negative applies to the entire fraction, but if you divide through by x, both terms, 7x over x is 7, so it's negative 7, then negative 5 over x. And this is now a matter of personal preferences, but either this or this one is fully simplified. So there you have it. So the idea is, if you have a function f of x equals some expression involving x, because x is a variable, you can replace the argument x by any other argument of your choice.